Hey Geek Family, we're back. This time we have our review for Hotel Mumbai. We must stick together. And I'm Nathan. And I'm Rachel. Trinity. Troy. Jordan. Oh, we heard that phone, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, so we literally, what, five minutes ago just finished the film. Yeah. And we're going like to dive right into half. it. I would say spoilers, but it's based on, on the actual event from 11-26-08. Um, so I'm sure most of you guys kind of already know what was all uh, going on with that. Now, um, so we're just going to jump straight into our review of what we thought of the movie. Uh, I'll just shout out real quick and just say thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. uh, as much as a movie like that can be enjoyed. Um, as far as like, I thought it was really well put together. Um, super intense uh, film very very intense uh, pretty much from the go almost um, how it started off where we know the, the movie itself is you know centers around the Hotel Mumbai the Taj uh, Hotel there but um, it does start off and it shows you the train station attack and at the cafe which kind of then leads into uh, the hotel um, we um, I'm, just like everything, I'm assuming there's some liberties taken as far as like there was a couple moments in the movie where people's cell phones conveniently died, um, which is they, they like to use in movies, um, and you know we kind of kind of get that. And there's a couple characters too. We went back and looked up, and we didn't see them, uh, particularly Jason Isaac's character. He played a Russian uh, who they showed getting uh, killed in the movie. Uh, went and looked. We did not see anywhere where a Russian um, had lost their life uh, in the attack. Uh, so I'm assuming maybe his character was just added in there. But um, overall, very well uh, made. I, I uh, just uh, very gut wrenching film too, especially here in um, here in Rachel, uh, particularly screaming. watching it. Well, not only not only screaming out of it, but hearing her getting really emotional during everything too. Her and Trinity both. You did, I, I, didn't, I didn't hear I didn't hear so much danger. You were like a badge of honor. I didn't cry at that. I was, I'm still sick. I sniffle every day. No, you were tearing up. I seen. I it. teared up, but it didn't leave my eyeball. Okay. She sucked that tear right back up. Wait, are you saying you didn't um, hear Trinity scream? No, no, no. I said I didn't hear Trinity cry. Oh, I'm saying she I, was I, I could just screaming. hear my mom. Um, so that's just my real quick thoughts. Let's uh, one of you guys want to take over and kind of. I'll go last. Um, yeah. I thought the movie was good. It had a lot of intense moments and mm -hmm. uh, suspenseful moments, and um, some like there were like some parts in the movie where I was like, "Why would you do that?" Like when they're all leaving. And then they hear the gunshots, right? Or like the explosion, and they're yeah. screaming, and then they continue to scream, which I understand because you're scared. But when you know yeah. like they're in the room and you, you're trying to get away, screaming is just gonna lure, uh, lure them to you because they're gonna hear you screaming. You think? I guess people just have that involuntary reaction to certain things. Sometimes you just can't help it. Um, which I guess I get, you know, look, looking at certain things. Yeah, and like Troy said, there were there were moments, especially when the first of the police force kind of went in there. Oh. Um, and you're when you're watching them kind of go around the corners, and they're coming into the middle of the hotel to where you got you know some balconies, and it didn't look like they were checking Oblivious. checking around that that well because they got basically ambushed from right up here. And again, how how accurate it is as how, as how that went down, I'm not 100 percent sure. Just going by what the movie portrayed. Uh, it was just sort of like, and again, you could always make the argument that you know they're, they're local police force; they weren't kind of trained to do that stuff. And uh, I, I can I can see that. But my my I have I cried a lot. I'll be honest. <laughs> I, I can have I cried <laughs> a lot. Um, mm. It hurts that people will do that to one another. It doesn't matter race, nationality, creed doesn't matter anything. Your religion, nothing. It was crazy to see just how robotic they were just yeah. going through and just, and just mowing people down it was just yeah. like it was nothing that they were worried about that that's all they cared about yeah. but i don't my 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 whole process that um i was trying to go through during the movie mm -hmm. as i was trying to figure out why it happened in the first place they were saying that they wanted to hear the infidels, quote unquote, cry and scream and holler like they had heard their Muslim brothers cry and scream and holler. Okay, so that 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 doesn't make any sense to me, but that's neither here nor there. Um, why wasn't the police force equipped for that? I'm well, I'll say this: yeah, out of, out of a, the, a big city like Mumbai, it, 
It's a financial why they, district they too, had to right? wait again. The, the movie was saying like they had to wait for the special forces to come from Delhi. Hours away. And you're like, miles didn't they? Didn't does Mumbai city itself? Did they not have maybe at that That's time? That's what I'm wondering. Did not have their own. Um, I know they had a police force, but as far as like like here in the states, you have the police force, and then you got SWAT. Like so, yeah. it's it's still in the same area, but they're like the more proficient, more they're uh, more military. tactical. Um, so you don't have to wait for like military special forces to come in. The police force himself will have a handful of people that do that. So I don't know. Maybe at the time Mumbai didn't have that. Um, I don't know. I did, and, and and it's like I, I read that uh, Dev Patel's character Ar 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 Arjun. 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 Mm -hmm. Hi, um, he was actually compiled of multiple characters or multiple people. Uh, yeah, movies. Yeah, they will tend that to do they that. Tend to do that. So yeah, they'll, that, they'll mix a couple of people and, and put them, create. They'll create a character made up of several different people. But it's just it was like to watch these hotel staff mm -hmm. put their lives on the line to save these people. Yeah, it was one of the most beautiful and gut wrenching things I had ever seen because mm -hmm. that doesn't happen every day. There are people that will just say, forget you and take off running. And Probably us. Well, and like they said, <laughs> and I'll say this too, and, and and you can't, like they said in the movie, you can't fault people for that either. Like everything that no, went down in the kitchen can't. area where he, the guy's like, I got a family. And he's like, you know, you can go. And the guy's like, you can tell it, it it's killing him to leave, to have to leave too, because he feels ashamed basically to have to leave. But he's like, also, he's like, I got a family, I got a kid. And the guy even t he tells him, he's like, you know, it's, it's a perfectly fine like nobody's gonna hold it against you like you understand and then he left and but you know everybody else kind of stayed and at the, at the at the end of the movie too they tell you that over that half the people that died at the hotel were staff members who stayed stayed behind uh, to help and um, so yeah given their lives to help others to me that's uh, that's that's just, beyond yeah. uh, commendable and honorable and brave beyond any means it's it's uh to, to give your life to help others is absolutely astounding and amazing. And uh, one thing I'd, I'd say, the character David, the American yeah. character, when he's like with uh, Sally, their aunt, or the nanny, the nanny, the nanny yeah, I mean, nanny. and they're going through the uh, hotel, why wouldn't he peek around corners? Well, that's what I thought. That was I, yeah, I said that during the movie when he gets, the David character gets... Uh, Captured. Yeah, I think that yeah. was uh, Army Hammer played yeah. him, I think. Um they know they're out there going through the hall because he's already made his way through. <laughs> they decide to try to link back him, the nanny, and his baby just are on their way to try to link back up with the mom and everybody who are in the, uh, what was the name of that, the chamber? The, the, the chamber cha quarters or something like that. Um, and so, but it's, he's just blatantly like just do 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 like walking out. He comes through like a T <laughs> section of a hallway and just walks right out and they, there's, a, there's a terrorist. He's um trying to see uh, identity of, of one of the of uh i think it was an Austra it was the australian girl who got killed right? I believe no so. it was like the chinese or japanese no, that, girl. That was it was that one guy's girlfriend yeah, yeah. she was australian she i think she was yeah she was from, no, it said that she was chinese he said that because that's what her facial features like were but she, she her, i think when you when you heard her talk early in the movie i believe she she uh, did have an australian accent um brie that was her but he just brie. walked out boom like right there and he gets captured, hides the his nanny and his and his uh, baby in the in the like utility utility closet that she gets locked into. Yeah, I didn't that was that fell into the one of the convenient moments where her phone just yeah. happens to die when she's trying to send a message to the to the mom. Um, but yeah, it's like okay, you're trying to sneak through the hotel. Why wouldn't you want to just like you come to a T section? In the hall, wouldn't you want to just peek to make sure the coast is clear? Or have like um, a and so again, that's one of those movie yeah. things in the movie because I, I don't know if any of that if that went down that way. Um, but kind of like we said, excuse me, um, and, and they did, you could tell throughout the movie too, they did throw in um, some, some of the actual news footage, which kind of adds to it. I like it when, when movies do that. It kind of adds to the to the overall realness um, of the movie. Mm -hmm. um, it just, the, the, the way that they portrayed the, 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 the people, it was, you could feel the anguish and the pain from the, the 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 hostages yeah and it was like you could sem semi feel it from the terrorists because the one kid when he called his parents to like ask them if they room. got the money in, in room. and he remembered he was really really upset because he says how's your training going and yeah did they not know i mean i'm assuming he, they didn't know that's what he was going to do but they did all the 
but I couldn't tell because the way he was talking to him, as far as did you get the money, all their, their honorable men of Islam or whatever, they'll, they'll get us some money. So I, I, it kind of confused me. I was like, okay, well, he thinks he's off training, but then when they started talking about the money and everything, and I'm thinking, all right, well, maybe, maybe they know a little something else. But now I'll say that about that specific scene in the movie. It kind of seemed like it was played for to try to get you to feel a little sympathy for that terrorist as far as like oh, how I he's no acting. Sympathy for and him. well that's I what mean, I'm saying. If I we hadn't just anguish. watched him gun down many innocent people, yeah. you might feel a little sympathy like oh like he he just kind of he doesn't really want to do this sort of thing. Like he actually feels but since we just watched him kill a bunch of innocent people I feel no sympathy for him crying. I'm like, well, you're not only you're crying, well, fine, good. I'm glad you're crying because you're sad. You're and I also that. hope you get your brains blown out later on in the movie, which he does. Well, not his brains, but he gets shot up and killed. So I, I had absolutely no sympathy for him at all. Now, if they, have, they had the movie played it in a way to where maybe he hadn't actually, you haven't seen him kill anybody. Like he's walking with somebody and the other guy's doing all the killing and he's all super hesitant, not doing anything. Maybe you might buy a little sympathy for me at that part. But no, no we've watched him gun down a bunch of, gun, a bunch of people. Even... So that was an odd, kind of a little bit of an odd scene where I'm like trying to play it a little weird i'm like no i'm um no he's that's a horrible person i'm not gonna feel anything remotely like sympathy for him uh turning and jordan have not said their well you cents. do awfully talk a lot yeah you do i do well when i pause i kind of hope that maybe some of you guys would jump in without no, without me having to go like you just yo keep, you just keep talking yo <laughs> yo see like right now go you gonna stop all right, good. No. Anyways, in. see, look, you're still forever. talking. Be quiet. I leave you all these pauses. Shh. You're like, anyways. Oh, you're done. Nathan, shut up. I really enjoyed the movie. It was like a super good movie. Yeah. Like it made you feel like you were there and like that yes. you experienced everything they went through. Absolutely. And uh, the movie overall was like very hor like horrific, but mm -hmm. it needs to be to make you feel how they felt and also you know. To know that that did actually happen, you know, like you need to open your eyes and realize bad things like that do happen. Yeah. You know, and maybe start preparing yourself just in case anything like that happens. Because, you know, a lot of people did not know what to do. They were just freaking out mm -hmm. and running and trampling each other. But overall, it was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. I would totally watch it again. I want to say it's, it's a really good movie. Like, those actors are extremely good. Yeah, it had a lot of good actors in it. And, and like you, like to say more on what Jordan said. When you show movies like that, that show a tragedy like that, like don't pull any punches. Like show the hard stuff. Like make it hard to watch, so yeah. you know, like, oh my God, that's you know a fraction of what maybe those people actually went through. Like I'm sure it was way worse yeah. than what it was even shown in that movie, which made it seem like you know awful and it's like pure heck. You know, I just it it did a it did a really good job. I thought and so Trinity. I thought that movie was really good. It bothered me a lot. Mm. It just made me feel bad. Feel bad for the people. And I was angry at them because I feel like, well, I don't know if it's your government's fault or not, but I feel like people should protect themselves more. Or like if you're in a really big hotel, like I feel like maybe they should have more guards. On more duty. security like, person. They have they security. Had security. They just was they, like super like I don't armed, they were armed and um yeah. oh you're talking with action okay I get what you're saying well yeah, and then like when they when he was at the train station or whatever yeah I thought they were gonna kill that guy counting like the coins or oh in the, in the restroom yeah, like, yeah whatever he was done like that's just so scary and like he, they it just, doesn't only happen in India or whatever like it happens in America too it just makes you scared to like go to like Walmart or send your kids to school because it's happened a lot of times here and it's happened in Franklin which is close to us and so it just like makes you think like one day it probably will happen in Columbia no well it I, probably will happen at like a like a supermarket or something that we generally go to like maybe not a whole bunch of terrorists but like a crazy gun person and people that aren't prepared then they're gonna die and it sucks because that's all you can, all you can think about well like mass shootings here are not like despite what the news portrays it's not an epidemic it's not like no i'm not no, i'm saying that yeah yeah so i mean yeah and stuff like that that happened at hotel mumbai like like security like hindsight you can look back and, and think like oh man you know if they had better security they had some armed security but some you know, tragically and unfortunately sometimes it takes stuff like that 
to you allow that to happen. Yeah, because you're. You gotta think. You don't want like super armed guards all around there with like guests from all over the world yeah. coming to considerably one of the best hotels. You know, because that's very like ungreeting, and like some people don't like guns, so it would make them feel very uneasy. I guess. I guess the best thing to do is, is you know, like. Big, big, high-profile targets, which I would consider that a, a high, yeah, VIPs, ones that are going to be high-profile targets. Maybe have a, you could have like in the security area, um, firearms that you need, where it should the worst-case scenario happen, and then you you have your security personnel trained um, the best you can for stuff like that, so at least that they can fight back. Because you know, like, okay, we got a lot of VIPs here. It's very high end. Uh, we could be a target for some radicals. Uh, to come in and do something so you know let's just be a little prepared uh, for stuff like that so um, the so, one thing yeah. that I was the most were upset about was the one guy who decided to call in a, a newscaster I'm wondering how is that did, did that, that have... really happen did some, did some <coughs> I don't want to say uh, call him a bad name but for real dude I well, mean what, what I know he was trying to get help but why not call the police and tell the police where you are not the police call are a already news there. Cra not call a newscaster that's going to broadcast it all over the world for people who are attacking yeah, you to find out where you are the newscaster's dumb too for repeating it well the newscaster yeah. only have they have one job get the news out for the people that's their job and yeah, unfortunately also... the ding dong who called sorry well that's the, that's the trouble with the news nowadays too is they'll broadcast it you know your safety be danged you know if you know, hey, yeah. we got it, and, and it's oh, we got to be the first one to put it out there, so we get all the views and the hits and the clicks. And that's so stupid. And, and also, not thinking of the human life, you know, that that you might be putting at risk for stuff like that. And it's sad that it's like that nowadays. But in this society that we live in, with social media and everything, it's it's all about those views. It's all about those uh, those hits on your on so your website. Did the lady that was Muslim? Did was she was Indian and Muslim, or she was Indian? Her religion might have been Muslim or whatever. Did she use that to like her advantage at that point when she thought she was gonna die? <laughs> That's Basically. what it looked like. I th I, I think she I, I think she used it like that to cause him to hesitate and maybe not kill her. Maybe th her thinking that if if he knew that she was that she was Muslim, she wouldn't he wouldn't kill her. So maybe she thought, okay, they're just coming through killing people who aren't Muslim. Is my guess is what her thought was. But yeah. then again, you saw in the movie the guys like you know so what if she's Muslim, kill her. And you see that, you know, in real life too, where terrorists, like most of the casualties from terrorists are other, like from deaths, usually from radical Mo Islam. Islam terrorists are usually Muslims. other Muslim people. That they they kill more of them than they do of like any foreign foreign people. And that's so sad that you would go crazy against to your own kind. It's crazy to think about. Um, but then again, we are it's like this, so. our own kind. So. Um, um, but another thing that the news did and was kind of stupid was that they announced that the special forces had arrived. Yeah. Like, you figured that, okay, so the hotel's under attack by terrorists. More than likely, they're going to watch the news to mm. see what's happening. So why would you announce that, oh, the special forces are here, you're all going to get safe, and so then that's going to be like, oh, okay, so they're here now, let's just start burning the hotel and killing everybody. So, well, that's exactly yeah. why they did that, is because they heard that CNN and then Brother Bull or whatever his name yeah, was. Yeah, that's why, that's why CNN was stupid. Didn't he say something to one of them? Well, yeah, yeah. As their point of perspective, they particularly don't know that one of them is watching a broadcast. Yeah, but you should always assume that, though. Boom! This is back in their time. Okay. Still now, 2008. Two but this yeah, still now, Jordan, you're saying well, it's like 1840 just, just or something. Just listen, guys. <laughs> just listen. Okay? Not everybody's going to be thinking straight, first of all. Second of all, once again, it is the news. They're just going to want to get everything out. But... If they think there, there's like terrorists attacking, I'm pretty sure they did not know that they were all on the phone with their mastermind behind it. Yeah. I get what you're saying, I do, but I, I'm also leaning more towards what Troy is saying because, I mean, seriously, this is a day and age of technology. One plus one equals two. If somebody is plotting something to where they're going to destroy someone or something nine times out of ten they've got a mastermind behind them telling them what to do well I, i'll say this to you to give you know as much as i hate to say it, to give the news the benefit of the doubt i doubt Sorry. that they're broadcasting that stuff thinking like 
hey, we're putting people's lives in danger. Yeah, they're they're probably just they're probably just they blurting it out there without thinking, and which is sad because like when during stuff like that, you've got to at least assume like, okay, they're in a hotel. There's TVs all over the place. What are the chances are that they might have a TV on somewhere, seeing uh, what's being broadcast? Uh, what? Nothing. And, um, just I'm reiterating what you're saying. Oh, okay. Also, when the um, David, when he was like, un got his hands free. Yeah. One thing that bugged me is that he oh. he got up so slowly. Well, he was trying to be quiet. He was trying yeah, to be quiet. I, know, I, know, I, know, like, I was asleep. Yeah, yeah. He, was he just passed out. But on a, yeah, if he is asleep though, I would have just rushed him because. And how did he even see him? Because it looked like his eyes were closed like this. He probably had it just just barely open. But if he just waited a few more seconds, he put the AK down and tried to stand up. Then you could have bummed him. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. But you don't know. You don't. In hindsight again is 2020. Yeah, you can't, you can't um, see the for me personally. The one of the most gut wrenching scenes in the movie is when they had the receptionist calling the rooms, oh, God. Oh, yeah. telling them that it's the because rescue. you see her talking because early in the movie she's calling the rooms super quiet, like hey stay in your room, which is very commendable. It's like oh my God that you're 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 that aware to to be able to do that. And then further in the movie, all of a sudden you hear her doing the same thing, but she's talking all loud. And even Trinity, what'd you say? You're like, why are you why talking, so, talking loud? so loud? Why is she talking yeah, so loud? Yeah, I was to say that. And then she's like, yeah, you know, that's the police are at your door. Go ahead and let them in. And it zooms out, and the terrorists have a gun to her hand, and they're making her call room to room, which she calls in one room. Here's the machine guns going off. They tell her to call the next room. She doesn't. They shoot her. They give the phone to the other lady. Call. Call room 409. 409. 409. She just looks at them. Boom. They kill them. She, you know, shoot and kill her, too. Um... And that's yeah that that was probably for me the most like gut wrenching. And yeah, because scene. you would be like kind of responsible for their lives. Yeah. Well, and, and oh. I just because you do you, yeah you'd be responsible. Yeah. I mean, because at the time you're thinking like I you know you're 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 thinking like self preservation like I I want to save myself so you might. Go through with it, but once it hits you, once you hear that gunfire, you're like, "Oh my God, they're ki they're they are killing them." You're like, "I, I, just I don't know how you could." Yeah, I don't know how you could go forward. Like, I don't, no. I couldn't do it. Like, I mean, even though, even selfish. if you did, yeah, even if you did continue to do so, there's no guarantee that they still wouldn't kill you when you were done anyway. Yeah. So one way or the other, you're gonna die. It's either you're gonna die a hero or you're gonna die an accomplice. So you got the for me the most gut wrenching scene, one of the most uplifting scenes. Is when you've got uh, you got Arjun, he's a Sikh, and you've I got like a him. older British woman who's just freaking out, and she hears the one woman speaking, uh, uh, talking using Arabic on the phone. Farsi. She was talking Farsi. Was she talking Farsi? She was talking Farsi at that point. And so she flips out. She's like, "You're one of them. Who are you talking to?" And the Russian guy's like, "Get the f back." Uh, talking to her. <laughs> that was and a throw out of uh, <laughs> words in there. <laughs> and uh, then. A little bit later on, the head chef, he's like, you know, the same older British lady. Well, was, he's talking to Arjun. He's like, hey, she's uncomfortable with your your facial hair and your turban. Your turban, you know, if you go in the back. And instead of going in the back, he he went up to her respectfully and explained everything to her. Like showed pictures of his wife and his, his family on his phone to show her, like, this is my family, you know. And Did then he, ex he explained he, what like he is, my seat, the meaning of his turban and everything. And what then... What do you call it a turban? It was something else. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot the exact name he used for it. And he's talking about how he has never taken it off since he was a little kid. It shows respect, it's, courage. Or... Yeah, he, it's, it's courage and honor, and it's, it's a shame for him not to have it on. But then he said, but if you would like me to, and it would make you feel comfortable during this time, he's like, I will take it off. You know, but but the fact that he took the time to explain to her, and she's like, "No, I'm just scared," and he's like, "We all are, and we'll make it through this." That was very good because you get a lot of people nowadays who wouldn't do that. They'd want to go out and be like, "You be, well, I'm not taking this off for you," and just like start screaming at her and, and getting into a big argument. Yeah. And instead, he he's he was being rational and went and talked to her and explained everything to her, knowing that she's just freaking out in this situation, not thinking straight, yeah. and explained it to her. And that's how that's how it should be. That's 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 how things should work out, and people should, you know, work work it through that way. So I, to me, that was one of the that was the one of the most uplifting. I'm, sad, I'm trying to find the name of it. My friend, uh, she's Muslim, um, and she has Muslim, like, oh, her, she's black, and but her their religion is Muslim, and she has other friends that are Muslim, and I guess I don't think they're black, but um, she's talked about how her um, friends had to like shave when they started working again after 9-11 and they couldn't wear their head pieces and everything because people were like so scared and like judgmental and everything so it's like both sides 
I can't find yeah. it. So it sucks both ways. And okay, so but it's just those are radical Muslims or uh, like those. There's like I don't know how to explain it, but it's sad for both sides. You feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, or you say Arjun in the movie, Arjun, yeah. he may have that look. But he's not a radical Muslim. He wasn't even. Muslim. Yeah, wasn't even Muslim. He wasn't. He wasn't he's not, he's not even Muslim. But just because you look a certain way, yeah. people might just get freaked out because something so terrible that happened. Because mm. I believe even after 9/11 here in the states, uh, a gentleman was killed for wearing a turban. He wasn't even Muslim. I think he was Sikh. He wasn't even Muslim. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like Trini said, it's sad because it just people when they're afraid do stupid stuff and. If you don't understand it, don't jump then, to conclusions. Yeah, and like like we were saying in the movie that the fact that he went up and explained. Uh, it was very, very heartwarming. Um, and, yeah, and then you, the movie just continues and it's, it's, it goes all the way to morning time. And it's, it was, what, um, two days and four? Two was, nights or three days. Yeah, yeah total for that, throughout all the attacks and everything. Uh, but there were four terrorists in, in the uh, hotel. Yes, yeah. Uh, ten total throughout the, the entire yes. two attack. At, two two at that were in the cop car, the one cop died, car. and one was in critical condition. They were the ones he that was, were at the, the train lived. station, yeah. right? Train yeah. station. And, and, and then, then we had the two that... Uh, did the cafe. They ended up in the hotel. They ended yeah. up in yeah. the hotel. So where did the other two go? Because that's only eight. That's only that's six. six. Where's the other four? Two two more yeah, were in the hotel good. already. Right. So there's there were four in the hotel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There were two in the cop car. Mm -hmm. That's six. Yeah. If there were yeah. ten total, where did the other the, four to go? The other, to the other locations. Because they just showed, they didn't show all the locations in the movie. Because uh, they, there was multiple locations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 uh, they, they only showed the... Now I need to find uh, out what those other locations are. Mumbai and the... Yeah, the hotel, yeah, the Taj. It's, it's at said the number of locations towards the end. Yeah. Did it? I'll I think it was like again. nine locations. Because when the uh, military came in, it said they got... Oh, the 12. Day. Yeah, they said 12. they they, yeah, they, re, they took all 12, um, uh, something about 12, 12 yeah. locations uh, on it. Um, my most probably uplifting scene, or not really uplifting, but like the scene that I thought was pretty, like, really good was in, the Russian guy kind of seemed like an a-hole in the beginning of the movie. Big time. And then when, like, they're bringing hostages and, and he's, like, executing <laughs> him, he goes over and bites his ankle and is, like, just gnawing oh, into his yeah. ankle. And he just doesn't let like, go until he shoots him. Which you thought was going to save David's life. <laughs> but no. Well, he was he dying know. anyways. He was, like, shot. Right <laughs> yeah, he was David would not have that. lived. You yeah. okay? And then one of my most intense scenes was when the, that lady ran into the room he went in the bathroom and oh, Sally with the baby yeah. hid in the oh closet. Oh my god, that's my most And the baby yeah. kept like whimpering and all that. Oh, she's trying yeah. to keep it quiet. Yeah. Yeah. And the guy's yeah. going there to shoot the girl and she's like trying to keep the baby quiet. Yeah. And that girl was so brilliant to run into that shower and close oh, yeah. that door for that baby to scream its head off. Yeah, I don't think I would have thought to do that. I would And honestly, I would have probably tried to go somewhere with like more clothes if I could. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was, uh, my favorite smart. scene oh, no. was when Arjun was able to go home and see his wife and child because I know that that woman was That's very frantic. uplifting. Yeah, the, reuni the reuniting of uh, the baby with uh, Sal or, uh, yeah, Sally Zara. had the baby and Zara. Yeah, very, that was very uplifting as well. Um, Trinity, do you have any like you have your most intense scene and your most uplifting? I have a commitment. Uh, probably yeah. maybe when the when the army finally got there and they were all running out through the bottom. Yeah. The big shootout in the, yeah. And the army people got there. And then, I like the scene when Arjun met up with his boss. Oh, yes, the NFL got out, yeah. Sweet. That was very heartwarming. Oh, and I liked, oh, I also liked the scene where he saw, um, the guy that took the shift that he wanted because like it hit him oh, like you know yeah. what like maybe like it's I'm not trying to say that, that it was right for that guy to die but maybe that was God's way of protecting him Arjun because he, he knew Arjun could help these people I don't know something I don't know but I'm not trying to say that, that guy was meant to die but I'm he, Arjun was not meant to be there and there's obviously a reason why he helped a lot of people hey, he even dropped his yeah. shoes that's why he didn't get the job yeah. yeah accidentally dropped his shoes out of his bag on the way to work I thought he only dropped one shoe it he was did. just one it looked yeah. like one yeah but yeah, he, yeah but he can't wear one correct shoe and one yeah wrong. and then he, he yeah he wore and then he had to wear his boss's tiny 
tiny shoes. Like, oh, I'm messing up his skin. Let's not talk about it. Well, not messed up, but like skin. really, it was skin. You saw, you saw the skin not move. Talk skin about move. that. You gotta think how of how long he has been running around saving people hours. with those tiny shoes on. Yes, and he hours. finally got in a place to where he could rest. Yes. Yeah. Jordan, you got a most intense uplifting. Most intense scene for me would probably be. Oh, when they were trying to break into the lounge, like when they actually found one. Oh ran. yeah. Because I thought he was gonna get in for a second. So did like, I. I did too. Once he started shooting, I was like, oh, he's gonna break the doorknob. It's gonna just fling open. Yeah. Which I then at that point I was like, I was like, hopefully two people stand by the door with some cleavers and just chop them up. When that one guy had him had like that meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah he had. He was ready, but yeah, those must have been some thick doors, thick wood doors. And then uh, most uplifting <clears> scene. <throat> I don't really specifically have a favorite because there is like a lot There's if a you lot, think yeah. about it. Mm. You know, just like the fact of all the staff members just putting their lives on the line and like different scenarios for everything, you know, risking mm -hmm. their lives, trying to save everybody, all their guests, and you know, at least get them out safe, not their self also. Yeah. Putting them first though, of course. Mm -hmm. Agreed, Rachel. I think I think I heard you say the most uh the most intense, intense was, the, was the, the room, the baby. Yeah, the baby, the baby. in the closet. That that terrified me because mm. I, I just knew she was going to kill that. Not meaning to, I just knew she was going to kill that baby. Just because, you know, the way that she had her hand over his mouth. But she was oh, smart. She, yeah. had, she kept his nose unplugged yeah. so he could breathe out of his nose. Mm -hmm. and she did so good. So good. Um, Kudos to her. It's I have a commendable moment, and it's when even though the police force knew they weren't equipped to handle the situation, they still went in there. Absolutely, yes. to try to save the guests. The fact and the staff. that yes, yeah, that they went in there. They're like, hey, we were told to stand down until the special forces get here, and he's like, no, we've got to do something to go in there and and do that and to lose everybody that went in, but two, yeah, yeah. Um, very commendable. Very, very commendable. And that's another um, thing that pissed too. me off about bravery. that. Why in the hell did it take Delhi so damn long for them to get there? They hadn't left for hours from Delhi, 800 miles away, to get there to give them the reinforcements that they needed to save these people. That pissed yeah, me off. That was a long time. That's like, long time that's, that's, yeah. Mmm, sorry. You're fine. Um, but overall, though, we all really enjoyed the movie. Um, like we were saying, just just as far as the mechanics of the movie goes, the way it was filmed, shot, uh, the the music and everything was was good. It looked the movie looked good. Um, uh, the music, suspenseful and everything when it needed to be, uh, helped add to the atmosphere. Uh, and yeah, very gut wrenching. Like it was one of those movies that I don't know if I'd watch it many many more times because it's very gut wrenching. There's several movies that I uh, that are like that that I really thought were. Very good movies, very well put together. Enjoy them, but times. can't watch them a whole lot just because they uh, they are they take a lot out of you because like, of um, what they're about. World Trade yeah. Center is one of them. Yeah, yeah. World Trade Center. This, the, these two are kind of up and up with me. Oh, I, I like that one movie with uh, the guy in it, and the building falls apart, and they're all stuck. World Trade, World Trade, Center? Trade Center. Oh, I like that movie too. The one that. The, the, <laughs> The one literally about the one that trapped beneath both Okay, y'all, she's tired. Oh. She's going to bed. Uh, so, yeah, so we, uh, we're finally able to sit down and check out Hotel Mumbai. We all uh, we all liked it. So, yeah, we will have uh, another movie review coming out soon. We'll Whenever Nathan gets off his lazy butt. No. Oh! No, oh, we would have watched it last weekend, uh, but Trini had the flu. She had the flu. She had the flu. She's still gonna watch it, and she's still coughing a little bit. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So hit us up down in those comments section on our Twitter, Instagram. Let us know what you guys thought of Hotel Mumbai. I know that now that we've seen the movie, I want to go check out uh, the actual documentary, the real documentary of, of talking about it, not with the with the uh, actual you know dramatized stuff, but the actual footage. Uh, I want to check out. So if you guys know some good ones, I think the. The one's called the 1126. BBC had one. Or 2611, I mean, I'm 2611, sorry. 2611, yeah. 2611. Might have to check that one out. But, yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for all your love and support on the channel. You guys are awesome. Love y'all. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We should ask them and tell them, how do y'all like our new intro? Just for the movie. Movie review intro. It's new. Comment down below. <laughs> You're such a dork. Nathan, shut up.